From Clifford to Chewbacca, the world of fiction is full of lots of curious and strange-looking dogs or dog-like creatures. But what if we were to tell you that some of the most unique dogs are actually the real ones? These are the most unique dogs you'd want to own. Number 15. American Bully People often confuse the American Bully with a pit bull, but the two dog breeds couldn't be more different if they tried. The American Bully is a gentle giant that could very well make the perfect breed for you, and it is undoubtedly unique. If it's not the impressive stature of the American Bully that makes it stand out from the crowd, then it will surely be their muscular build and sweet temperament that do. The American Bully became quite variable in appearance. They may look like big, fierce dogs, but when you bring them upright, they're more likely to be gentle giants. American Bullies have been their own breed since the 1980s. They do well in homes with or without children, and they tend to be kind and loving to everyone in their family. However, if your docile and affectionate American Bully waltzed around your perimeter, you may find that no one would be in too much of a hurry to try and steal anything from your property. They tend to live about 10 to 13 years on average, and can weigh up to 150 pounds. Who knows, an American Bully could be the dog your family's been waiting to welcome. Like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the odd topic. This image here shows a large South African boar bull. Deliberately bred for guarding and protecting, these dogs are huge and are seriously not recommended to first-time dog owners. In the early 20th century, they were nearly extinct, but since then, they are steadily returning. Weighing up to 200 pounds, the particular dog in the photo is an even larger variant, so it probably weighs a lot more than that. He also has black hair, which is not all that common for this breed of dog. Remember to comment down below with the hashtag oddtopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. And now, to the next topic. Number 14. The Komen Door Sure, you could own a golden retriever or a chocolate Labrador, but why not a mop with legs? The Komen Door is undoubtedly one of the most unique dogs you'd want to own. Behold the Komen Door, the dog with the heaviest fur in the canine world. But only if you've got patience and dog ownership experience. This breed is covered in white cords, which makes it more like a mop than a dog. It's certainly a recognizable breed for this reason, but doesn't tend to be nearly as popular as your everyday collie or chihuahua. Komen Doors are powerful guardians that can weigh 100 pounds or more. They have a lot of muscle, dense bones, and a deep chest. Those sure sound like desirable features in a dog, and they are. In saying that, this breed requires a lot of training and a firm hand. They are quite an independent breed that is used to guarding flocks on their own terms. As you can probably tell by their looks, they are not a dog you can get away with bathing once every six months. You have to watch them regularly and make sure you get every last sud of shampoo out of their coat. If you don't, their fur can end up smelling and feeling awful. Number 13. Bergamasco Sheepdog the Bergamasco Sheepdog is an independent, highly intelligent, and friendly dog. But it takes just one look at them to realize how unique this breed really is. Firstly, they have a long lifespan. They can live up to 15 years, and the average is between 13 and 15 years. Then there's their coat. They might seem like they're a challenging dog to maintain, but that couldn't be further from the truth. In the Italian Alps, this is a herding dog that comes with a set of curtains. <laughs> <laughs> this muscular shepherd dog has three different coat textures that form naturally in flocks. Flocks are strands of hair that weave together to create flat layers. This coat type pretty much takes care of itself, but also provides warmth in cold weather. Regarding their temperament, the Bergamasco, which sounds like some kind of hot sauce, is a well-rounded doggo. They are bright, loyal to their family, and very trainable. They are also vigilant when looking after their owners and property, and will only be aggressive as the last resort. In most cases, a well-brought-up Bergamasco sheepdog is excellent around other dogs and kids, and they are eager to please. 
You would also say that this doggo's a bit of a showstopper, so it suits many dog owners who want to stand out from the crowd. Number 12. Otter Hound. If you happen to live near a body of water, or you're a family who loves nothing more than heading out to beaches and rivers, then an otter hound will fit right into your family unit. This big, boisterous, lovable doggo was initially bred in medieval England for otter hunting. While that activity is now outlawed, that doesn't mean they have outgrown their love for the water. Their dense, shaggy coat, not to mention their webbed feet, make them naturals in the water. So they will be man's best friend on many trips to the lake. The otter hound generally lives for between 10 and 13 years and grow up to around 115 pounds. Females tend to be the smaller of the two. They also have a keen sense of smell, and this came in handy for being able to track an otter scent underwater over vast distances. While they can't do that now, they can at least track their way to their dinner bowl with no hassles at all. They are generally an excellent family dog, but you do need to make time to brush them at least twice per week. Number 11. Norwegian Lundahoon the Norwegian Lundahund doesn't look like a very unique dog. In fact, they just look like any typical Spitz type of a small size to suit many people's home situations. However, there's more to this dog than meets the eye. Firstly, they used to be bred for the job of puffin hunting. Now, given that puffins are protected, they're more or less your everyday athletic furry companion. They have a curving tail, triangular ears, and a dense double coat. But those features alone don't necessarily make an overly unique dog. However, look closely at the Norwegian Lundahund's feet, and you may begin to understand how special this doggo is. They have six fully functioning toes on each foot. They also have extra paw pads to go with them. Then watch as they turn their head. This breed has what you would call an elastic neck, which means that they can crane their head back so that it touches their spine. Their ears fold shut, their shoulders are flexible so they can move their legs to the side, and they have a rotary gait. You won't find too many dogs that have these features, that's for sure. Number 10. Pulley. Looking at the pulley, or pullix as a plural, you would probably be confused as to why they're called the acrobats of the dog world. After all, surely that huge coat of naturally occurring cords weighs them down. Believe it or not, this compact, mighty little dog is actually very light on its feet. They may only stand at around 17 inches tall, but they are incredibly agile, fast, and intelligent. <laughs> They are also powerful herders, not to mention smart, home-loving, and loyal. All the makings of an incredible doggo for a family. Pullicks tend to live until they are around 15 years old and weigh up to 35 pounds. As a result, they are certainly not the largest of breeds. What people also like about them is their unique coat. Sure, it takes a lot of work, but it's woolly, dense, and most importantly, waterproof. You can brush it out or keep it corded and have your dog standing out for all the right reasons. If you're looking for a unique family pet, then there are plenty of reasons why a pulley would tick that box. Number 9. Sky Terrier The Sky Terrier is a well-mannered, good-tempered, and courageous little doggo that grows up to no taller than 10 inches high. They are a beautiful, zippy little critter that has long been described as the heavenly breed with the heart of a lion. They are far longer than you would expect for such a small breed, but that is not the only unique feature. They have a long, flat lion coat, huge, fluffy, bat-like ears, and a peekaboo hairdo that screams adorable. But underneath all that fur, you've got a muscular little pooch with a deep chest. They are definitely not what many people expect. Originally, they were bred on the remote Isle of Skye in Scotland as an exterminator, but they have since become a much-loved family pet. What people enjoy the most, aside from their sweet disposition and sassy attitude, is how easy care they are. Sure, they'll look like they're a lot of work, but they're not. You simply need to brush them to keep their coat free of tangles and give them a bath once per month. You do not need to trim them, for their fur will keep itself in place naturally. Number 8. 
Skipper Key Looking at this small 10 to 16 pound dog, you might not think they're capable of all that much. Maybe even just a toy dog you carry around in your handbag. But you may be quite surprised at how much of a hard worker these four-legged dynamos are. Skipper Key hail from Belgium and were used as barge dogs in the Low Countries. Even though they are no taller than 13 inches, they are ratters, watchdogs, faithful companions, and loving family pets. <laughs> <laughs> Skipper Key have powerful jaws, four quarters, and necks, and they are stealthy on the hunt. As a result, they are the perfect addition to a boat for taking down rats. Given that their coat is also jet black, they blend into the shadows, giving them the advantage over unwelcome small critters like rats. But when they are off the clock, their personality shows them as an excellent family addition. Skipper Key are mischievous, lively, curious, and full on. If you don't intend to have them as your co-captain on a boat, then a yard is perfectly okay for them too. They love to play, go for walks, and explore their surroundings. A skipper key can certainly fit the definition of man's best friend. Number 7. Lao Chen have you ever wanted a lion as a pet, but every authority in every country said no? Well, now you can have the next best thing, a Lao Chen. This cute little dog, which grows no taller than 13 inches, has been a popular dog in Europe for over five centuries. <laughs> Their name, Lao Chen, is German for little lion, and they are as cute as a button. Most Lao Chen's undergo lion clip grooming, which keeps their hindquarters groomed to the skin. As a result, they have a full mane and plumed tail like that of a lion. But unlike lions that might eat you if they get feisty, the Lao Chen certainly won't. They are affectionate and lively with plenty of sass and attitude. In saying that, they do have the heart of a lion. They are an outgoing dog who is quite loyal to their owners and can live upwards of 15 years when cared for well. One of the most desirable features for any pet owner is their fur. They are a non-shedding, hypoallergenic dog, so they are certainly sofa friendly. They also require minimal grooming, but will look their best 90% of the time. Number 6. Peruvian Inca Orchid if you're a dog lover but you hate having to spend half your life vacuuming fur off the sofa, then maybe the Peruvian Inca Orchid is the right dog for you. This elegant and unique dog is a sighthound from Peru that can either be small, medium, or large. In that size range, they can also be hairless or coated. It's not uncommon to come across pink, tan, white, black, and brown Peruvian Inca orchids, so owning one will certainly make you stand out from the crowd. It's almost like no two from the same litter look the same. You can even find that in a single litter, some have a bit of fur, but some don't. How absurd! But aside from their looks, this doggo has a lot to offer the average pet owner. They can live up to 14 years and are an affectionate, loyal, and noble breed. They are also very lively and alert, but can be quite wary of strangers. So if you need a watchdog, they can definitely be of service. In saying that, they don't tend to get on that great with small pets like cats or rabbits. So if you're gonna own a Peruvian Inca orchid, it's probably best that you're not also a small animal owner. Number 5. Catalbarin one look at the Catalbarin and you'll say, yep, that is definitely a unique dog. It's literally written all over their face. The Catalbarin is from Turkey and is an extremely rare breed. It is one of only three breeds in the world that has a split nose. Its name, Catalbarin, even means split nose. The nose is attached by a layer of skin, but the two nostrils are very much their own singular nose. How absurd! But aside from their looks, this breed has a lot going for it. It is a brilliant working buddy and is incredibly easy to train. It also works well as a hunting dog and thrives on the endless physical and mental stimulation. However, its incessant need to be on the go means the Catalbarin is not an ideal indoor pet. They're friendly enough with people, but they aren't the most social of dogs and would prefer that you gave them a job to do and then left them to do it. Unfortunately, getting your hands on this breed is getting harder and harder. There are only around 200 of them left. Number 4. 
Caucasian of Charka If you're an experienced dog owner, then you may have pondered at one time or another whether a Caucasian of Charka would be an ideal fit for your home. They are a guardian breed of shepherd that can be fierce, fearless, and confident, but can also be kind, endearing, soft, and loving to other family pets. This beautiful dog has been used for hundreds of years as a property protector. They guarded livestock against wolves and were later used as watchdogs over homes. Some have long coats and dense body masses, while some have short coats and lighter body masses. This beautiful breed is by no means small, so they require someone who can take control. They stand up to 30 inches tall and can weigh as much as 170 pounds. The Caucasian of Charka will also live for around 10 to 12 years, which in our opinion will never be long enough for a faithful doggo you grow to love. If you own a long-coated of Charka, then prepare to groom them daily. Short-coated ones, however, may only require brushing two to three times per week. Could this doggo be the right one for you? Number three, for Zoi. If you fancy having a running partner, then this unique breed of dog known as the Borzoi is a likely contender. Even looking at this slender Russian wolfhound, you know they're not going to be clumsy on their toes. They follow very much in the footsteps of the Greyhound and are both agile and speedy. In fact, they can fly past most people at up to 40 miles per hour. When they run, they are full of grace and glamour, but they carry the same aristocratic air about them even when they're lounging around at home. Borzoi have several built-in characteristics that make them fierce hunters. They're not much for roughhousing and are instead a quiet, calm, and cat-like dog that can even be a bit stubborn. Therefore, if you're just beginning to train them, then you may need a lot of patience, good humor, and consistency. This unique breed is certainly one that can fit into your home life well, but you'll need a lot of energy, a fenced section, and a lack of small animals. They have a strong pursuit instinct that could see you stressfully racing after them down the street. Number 2. Catahoula Leopard Dog There is nothing wrong with owning a popular breed like a pit bull, Labrador, or a golden retriever, but there's definitely value in looking outside those popular breeds for something that's a little more unique. How about the Catahoula Leopard Dog? This beautiful dog has an amazing coat that you will rarely see on any other dog breed. They're a mixture of different colors and tend to have a cookies and cream-like coat. You'll be fielding all kinds of questions at your local dog park. The Catahoula Leopard Dog grows up to weigh around 95 pounds and they can live between 10 and 14 years. They are muscular, agile, and powerful dogs and have commonly been bred for stock and as watchdogs. In saying that, they fit in equally as well at home with a family. They do require firm guidance and can be quite protective, territorial, and independent. Therefore, early socialization is paramount. You may also find that when you give them a job to do, such as guarding your home, they put all their focus into it and take it quite seriously. This loyal doggo is definitely a unique and lovable option for many households. Number 1. Bedlington Terrier if you saw a dog like the Bedlington Terrier walking down your local street, you'd do a double take. They're certainly not a dog you see every day. They have a curly coat, tasseled ears, the most unique tail you will ever see, and a pear-shaped head. When groomed, they also have this interesting fuzz pile on top of their head. It doesn't get much more unique than that. The Bedlington Terrier is not a large dog. They stand at up to 17.5 inches tall and weigh up to 23 pounds. Their life expectancy is reasonably good, too, at up to 16 years. They were first bred in an English mining shire and have become a jack of all trades. They make ideal housemates, but are also athletic, alert watchdogs, and couch potatoes. They are potentially everything you want in a dog, all rolled into one unique little package. In saying that, they do have a lot of grooming requirements. They require clipping at least every eight weeks and must be combed or brushed about twice per week. By doing so, you can keep their fur in the best condition. Who's a good doggo? You're a good doggo! We give all these pooches an 11 out of 10. They are certainly some of the most interesting breeds, that's for sure. Do you own any of these breeds, or have you in the past? 
why not tell us about them? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time, and until then, sit, stay, and subscribe.